Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to be looking at what it is uh, basically uh, that is going on for you in love. Um, so this could be regarding a relationship or um, a friendship, whatever um, in your life, whatever relationship in your life that you um, is taking precedence. For you right now, this is what this would be potentially about. Okay, so please check out your your rising, your um, Venus and your moon sign as well to get an overall view. Okay, so two more cards for Sagittarius, please. One more card. There it is. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's have a look here. The first card we have here is this beautiful card. Okay, so when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Mm. Oh, I like that. I feel like this is really about you putting everything into perspective, right? Okay. I wasn't going to read the next card, but I feel like I need to. Um, this is surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay, and I'll leave the third card for later. And it's a doozy. Okay, so first card. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul the memories you have shared with those you love. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius, please. Sevenly, seven heavenly virtues is the first card we have here. Key to goodness. This is it, you know, really, really looking at Sagittarius, what it is that fills you up with goodness, yeah? Letting go of everything that doesn't. Because at the end of the day, by the time you do get to that part of your life where you're ready to um, go to the next phase, right? All those, all, the, all this little stuff, it doesn't matter, you know? So just make sure everything in your life is bringing joy to you, okay? Crescent. Yeah, see, there's a new beginning here. Definitely a new beginning for you. If you choose it. You know, if you choose it. Um, we also have fruit of knowledge. Fruit of knowledge. This is about you discovering things that you never thought you would... Um, actually be interested in i feel like this is about you embarking on a journey a whole new journey that um you know given maybe six months ago a year ago two years ago you would have gone if someone had told you you would be actually going down this track you would have absolutely fell off your chair whereas now for some reason things have changed and you've decided to go in a new direction and I actually think that's the best thing for you right now. Um, because especially when we're talking about the memories that you share with those who you love, this is really what it's all about, creating memories, right? Not obtaining loads of stuff, not um, making as much money as possible. Don't get me wrong, that, that certainly helps, right? And there is a sense of freedom with that. But that's not the point of it. The point is, what do you want to create? What does fill you up, right? The next card here is don't, oh, is dolphin. Look at this. Look at this beautiful card here with these bubbles going out there. I've got all these people swimming in the water. Loving what they see. There's these doves here which are wrapped in a bubble. Flying along in their own bubble, right? In their beautiful bubble. Dolphin, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. 
Tell me more about Dolphin for Sagittarius, please. I feel like Sagittarius, it's important to, for you to look at what are the things that you are worrying about and is it really worth it? Like, is that adding to um, your life or is it taking from it? Okay, let me just pause this. Okay, so we have Shadow here. This one jumped out onto the floor. So I feel like in, in the shadows... In the shadow is um, potentially a lot of stinking thinking going on, um, a lot of negative thinking, and it's crucial for you right now to be aware of this. Not to at all beat yourself up about it, because that's not going to help the situation. Um, it's a matter of, yep, recognizing it, forgiving yourself, and changing the thought pattern. That's going to be the most beneficial to you right now. Okay. We also have Thorn. And this here, I feel like, Sagittarius, this is really what life is all about, right? We go through, we go along the path, we go through certain cycles, and there is pain, there are thorns that hurt us. Um, we have to be mindful of where we tread. And every now and then we come across a beautiful rose here. And, and we can bask in that here. Um, I want you to know that uh, you will always be coming across the roses. No matter how hard and how thorny the path is, the roses are always there waiting for you to discover them. Okay, and I think that's really important for you to remember right now because the thorns may be there really stinging you right now okay um it's important for you to let your shadow self be seen by you it's important for you to embrace that part of you okay because it is half of you that makes up the whole if if you were to deny that you're not actually allowing yourself to to be well to live to your full potential okay so this is really important for you to acknowledge right surrender surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out yeah see this is it looking at what you're holding on to thoughts people situations what is it that you're looking you're holding on to that is no longer serving you okay so owl follow your intuition yeah absolutely you know and i keep getting drawn to this fruit of knowledge here and this is the knowledge within you okay you know you have this innate knowing of uh, what it is that you need to do what direction you need to go in and i feel that it's important for you to tap into this okay um there's this sense of wanting to avoid the thorns and um and it's the thorns are necessary for you to be able to get to the roses and enjoy the roses. Okay. Amber, look at this. This is this. I feel like this is this moment in time where you need to stop and take a moment, have a rest, let whatever it is that you have learned in life to soak in. Okay, um, I also feel like for some of you, there's some work that needs to be done on your sacral chakra. Um, so see if you can seek out someone who does Reiki or any energy work for that to be done. Okay, and potentially even your solar plexus as well. Uh, but I feel like there's actually a new path that you can go down spiritually right now that is available for you. Okay, and um, your intuition is going to open up quite significantly. And so in order for that to happen, surrendering is necessary. Okay, it's kind of like just letting go of everything and just going, okay, bring it. Like, show me, what do I need to do 
you know, like really allow your intuition to come forward and lead the way here. Okay, the tree remembers. See, this is, this I feel like Sagittarius is really a, a natural thing for you to do. Okay, I feel like um, it's part of your nature. And um, just wonder if for some of you, there's, it's kind of like you've gotten too caught up in the day-to-day -day things. You know, there's just the, every day living has taken over and it's kind of like blocked or um or overshadowed what it is that is um important for you to focus on okay so we have here gratitude yes be grateful for all you have yep and I want to say here, um, for those of you who have children, be grateful for those children. For those of you whose children may be grown, you might have grandchildren. But actually, what's coming out more, um, a lot more strongly here is to be grateful for your inner child. Everything, this is the thing, right? We go through so much in our lives, and, and for, particularly for some of you in your childhood, hasn't been, hasn't been pleasant. And, um, you know... It's not about being grateful for the childhood and the unpleasantries, which is, um, I don't mean to put it that way to minimise it. What I mean is that I don't want to focus on that, right? Because what I want to focus on is the child, the inner child that dealt with all that, that survived all that, okay? Because the thing is, Sagittarius, that that child has lived through so much that other people wouldn't have been able to endure. Okay, you have lived through that. And I want you to know that that inner child who, who dealt with that and coped with that still lives within you. Okay, and to sit there and acknowledge and be grateful for that inner child is going to mean the world to them. And it's time, you know, maybe this inner child has been in the shadows here, waiting to be acknowledged, waiting to be seen, waiting to be heard, right? And so, in that regard, I think it's I think it's time to do that for them and for you as well. Okay, rainbow. Yes, see, shedding the light, shedding the light on the parts of you that um, that are actually beautiful to bring them out. Putting the light on them will show you the beauty of those things, okay? The things that you may not think are beautiful about you, and this could be your past as well. Um, shedding the light on those and seeing how that inner child, how strong you are, how the strong the inner child is, and, um, and yeah, just how much courage is there, right? So... Yeah, in that regard, I think there's a lot to be celebrated in that sense, okay? Idleness, yes, yeah, see, this is it again, right? Learning to come out of your shell, but taking your time, okay? Not moving too fast, just going at a turtle's pace, you know? Step by step, just as you need to. It doesn't have to be rushed. You can do it as you go. Because what is actually waiting for you here, right, is this twin flame relationship here, okay? Your passion ignites. This here is, is what is there for the taking for you. Okay. And the fact of the matter is that you deserve that. And maybe for some of you it's already come in. And um, maybe you don't believe you deserve it. We have leadership set your goals. See, this is the strength card for me. This is about being super strong, right? Allowing your... We talk about the inner child. I'm talking here about the inner lion, right? Letting that leader come out. Letting, empowering yourself. Empowering yourself to stand in your strength and lead the way. Not waiting, excuse me, not waiting for other people to do that, hey? So let's have a look. Tell me more about leadership. Because this is what is going to lead you to... This person, if you haven't, like, actually, no, I think it's going to be what leads you into this type of relationship, yeah? Yeah. Oh, dang, it's on the floor. Hang on. 
Yeah, Sagittarius, um, one important thing that it could be for you to do right now is breath work, okay? We have this card here, um, and I feel like that will make quite a tr large transformation for you. The other thing I want to talk about here is um, because fog is the next card after it, and I just want to say that breathing in the fresh air, okay, I feel like the fog is going to clear for you, and the way is going to become obvious. Um, something else there I thought I actually feel like it's going to be quite a magical time coming up for you and this is going to be beyond what you could have ever 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 imagined okay we have resilience Re rise above tribulations look at this here gorgeous rising above tribulations right actually stepping off the beaten path and knowing that you can do what it is you need to do to rise above it you don't actually need the stairwell you can just float above it you don't need to do anything else really it's up to you how you create it yeah okay gentleness this is about you being gentle with yourself and those around you okay understanding that you have had to go through um these tribulations in your life and knowing that they that there has been this I suppose damage caused if you like um you know it's caused the things that were so solid to crack and that's been really tough for you all right and for some of you you have felt quite alone in this journey um and it's time for you to rise up rise above that and move forward anyway because at the end of the day you know the, I just wonder if there's a bit of fear in you that people may you know isolate themselves from you um, or you've done that um, and yeah one thing I do is just coming up for me now is boundaries to make sure Sagittarius that you're not letting people cross your boundaries okay draw a line know what it is that you want know what it is that you deserve know um, that you deserve to be treated with respect you deserve honesty you deserve to be able to trust those around you those three things are paramount if you're not getting those three things then look at where you need to be creating boundaries in your life um, and you can do that nicely it doesn't have to be done in a nasty way um, people you know sometimes need to be um, educated as to now what it is you will tolerate you know if that's changing for you um, so you know do what you need to do in that regard and um, set those boundaries in a loving way from the heart space and yeah move forward and if there are people who can't handle that then maybe you know it's a matter of considering do you want them in your life because realistically the people who are worth having in your life will be the ones who respect those boundaries and appreciate them and um, uphold them so uh, but the first and foremost you need to do that for yourself because that's you having your back okay not just for your adult self but also for your inner child too so um, yeah you deserve that Sagittarius anyway I'm going to leave that with you Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.